En as jy hierdie formule gaan leer, is dit eindelijk, ek wil amper sê, dan gaan jy fijn wees. So they say there in the middle of the page, the balance outstanding is x, Sien jylle dit like soos die P-formule? It looks the same as the present value formula, except it has that minus K in that bracket, and K just means the amount of payments you already made. En ek gaan saam met julle daai voorbeeld doen op laat sy 76. Ok, so they say, Nigel takes out a loan of 3 million from the bank to start his own business. The loan will be amortized after 15 years and the monthly repayments will start one month after the loan is granted. Ok, we're going to unpack all of it now. Um, interest rate is 9% per annum compounded monthly and the first thing they ask you is determine the monthly payments to the nearest rand. Ok. Wat er soort formule gaan ons hier gebruik? If I want to calculate the monthly payments, am I using the F formula or am I using the P formula? No, the other one. Yes, he borrows the 3 million now. No? He's not saving 3 million for 15 years from now. Hy leen die 3 miljoen rand nou om sy bezigheid te begin. So hy gaan die huidige waarde formule gebruik. Do you guys understand? You have to read. No? Wanneer krij hy die 3 miljoen rand? Nou, hy betaal dit hierna nog af. But he gets the 3 million now. So, we have to work out the monthly payment. Nee man. Okay, and remember, the P formula doesn't have a plus one. Wat doen ons? As hy dadelijk begin, dan trek ons het moes hier af. Do you guys remember? If he makes an immediate payment, we subtract it from the money he borrowed because it's actually a deposit. Maar hierdie ene het in elk geval nie jou onmiddellike betaling gemaak, so jy hoef jy daar oor te waar nie. But remember, if you made an immediate payment, you would have added a minus x there. Nee? Ons het al sikkers gedoen. Jy het net een bykie geslaap in die klas. Ok, en dit is oor 15 jaar... En hulle sê vir jou rondom af tot die naaste rand. So ons gaan sê, hy gaan in totaal afbetaal 30.428 rand per maand. Happy? Nothing new thus far. Ons het nog nie met die nieuwe werk begin nie. Maar nou sê hulle vir jou, bereken die balans van die lening aan die einde van 5 jaar. In ander woord, 5 years have passed, and in those 5 years, Nigel has been paying off his loan diligently. Month per month, he has been paying 300, ach, 30,000 and what not. Nou wil hy uitwerk, hoeveel van die 3 miljoen rand wat hy oorspronkelijk geleen het, skuld hy nog steeds. And this might shock you guys, because it's still going to be very close to 3 million. But let's calculate it. Okay, so that's number 1. 
Number two, we calculate the balance. So we say, we know he has been paying this amount of money. Hy het nou al vir 5 jaar lang afbetaal, met ander woorde, hy het al 60 keer geld inbetaal, nee? In other words, you subtract that from the 180. En dan gaan jy sien, life sucks because he still owes 2.4 million. So in jou kop voel het vir jou, a third of the time period is almost half over. So you should have paid off at least a third of the three million, ne? But it is not the work, ne? Because at the beginning, is the rent that you per month must pay more. And then, as you start chipping away that little bit per month that you are paying of the actual loan, your interest per month becomes less and less and less. So later, can you pay more off the total the more time half over you have gone? Okay. Good. But that doesn't really matter. Want Rotovs, 